Welcome to the reading of the Book of Psalms. Bienvenidos a la lectura de los Salmos. Hello. Hello, friends. We are here today again to go over the Word of God. We're here because we're just here because we want to encourage you with Psalm 113. Yes. Amen. Amen. And there's a lot here. And I'm, I'm going to read it. It's very short. And then I'm going to go back and give a, give a couple of comments. And I'm going from the Message Bible, which is the Bible that is in the most modern of terms. The word is the same, just put in different language. Amen. Yes. Different terminology. Today's language. Today's language. <clears throat> Amen. So let's start with Psalm 113. Hallelujah. You who serve God, praise God. Just to speak his name is praise. Just to remember God is a blessing. And now and tomorrow and always, from east to west, from dawn to dusk, keep lifting all your praises to God. God is higher than anything and anyone outshining everything you can see in the skies. Who can compare with God, our God, so majestically enthroned, surveying his magnificent heavens and earth? He picks up the poor from out of the dirt, rescues the wretched who've been thrown out with the trash, seats them among the honored guests, a place of honor among the brightest and best. He gives childless couples a family, gives them joy as the parents of children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah means a thousand praises to God. Amen. Amen. So what I want to touch on is the part that he says here, he picks up the poor from out of the dirt, rescues the wretched who've been thrown out with the trash. It made me think of Mephibosheth. And I'm going to call him Mephi because his name is so long. <laughs> and I don't want to get tongue-tied. But the, the name Mephibosheth means from mouth of shame or he scatters shame. And the story with, with Mephi is at the uh, age of five years old, he was dropped by his nurse while fleeing a battle. And from then on, he was crippled from then and unable to walk. And um, after that, Mephi just saw himself as a dead dog, low esteem, not worthy, useless. And so I started thinking of um, my, my own life, and I started thinking about the lives of people that uh, how, uh, how often things have happened to us at a young age that have crippled us, uh, whether things have been done physically, whether children were abused physically, uh, mm -hmm. or even emotionally abused. Uh, then, you know, later on in life as teenagers, we face a lot of, of things. You know, you hear about uh, young girls, things happening to them. You know, this, uh, um, the, uh, the uh, trafficking, Yes. You know, that's that's something that affects you physically, emotionally. And so from then on, uh, we are not able to walk correctly. We are not able to live our lives correctly. Shame comes in, as is the name of Mephi. It, it, it means shame. And um, so he saw himself with low esteem. How many how many young girls, even young young boys, deal with low, low esteem because of things that have been spoken to them, things that have been done to them. Mm -hmm. They don't feel worthy. They feel useless. Amen. So it's a picture of, of, uh, of young men and women nowadays what happened to, uh, to Mephi. But then there is someone, King David came along, and King David was looking for someone from the house of Saul because Mephi's grandfather was Saul and his father was Jonathan. And so David was looking for someone from the house of Saul for the specific purpose of showing kindness. Amen. Amen. And David, when he found, when he found uh, Mephi, uh, he restored his inheritance to him. Mm -hmm. 
and he permitted him to live in the palace. Now, Mephi was still not able to walk even then, but his position was changed. Yes. Amen? Amen. And so I, I just want to uh, let you know that when you are in Christ, Christ is looking for you. If you are not in Christ, God is looking for you. God has a passion for souls. And if you're not saved and you're looking at this, I want you to know that God loves you and God is looking for you. Amen. Because when you were born, there was a purpose placed on the inside of you. And the only thing that will activate that purpose is receiving Christ, his son, as your savior. And it's not, you know, our imperfections, we can be, I mean, we can be ugly as old as dirt and ugly and it doesn't matter to God because he sees us all beautiful. That's right. He sees us all beautiful. You know, he, we are his creation mm -hmm. and he took great time and great effort into planning what you look like and who you are. Amen. And you cannot ever, Isaiah 43 says that you are precious and honored in his sight. And it doesn't matter. The men and women can define you, can say, oh, she's this, she's that, he's this, he's that, he's not enough. But God, what does God say about you? Amen. Amen. What does God say about you? And what he says about you is more important than what man uh, says about you because man may not know your purpose. Amen. That's where abuse comes from. The, the terminology abuse is abnormal use that's the derivative of that word and so man may not know what your purpose is there may there is greatness on the inside of you and so when when you see your imperfections i'm too short i'm too tall i'm too this i'm too that measure yourself by how god sees you amen look in the mirror and start telling yourself man god you just you created something so beautiful and it will do something to see the enemy wants to beat you down he wants to beat you down. He wants you to make make you feel that you're not worthy. Yes. He wants to make you feel that you don't have enough, mm -hmm. that you're not enough. But he's a liar. Mm -hmm. He is the father of all lies. What yeah. God says about you is so important, and that's what needs to take precedence. Start seeing your way yourself the way God sees you and ask him for help. Lord, show me how you see me. Show me that. And you'll you'll start feeling you'll start receiving, receiving the love and receiving uh, from God His grace and His mercy and His compassion. Amen? Amen. Amen. So remember, you are king, you are a royal priesthood, you are a holy nation, and you are precious and honored in God's sight Amen. because He said so. Yes. Amen. 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 And one of the things I also like about the song. And verse 7, how you can see the heart of God, mm -hmm. how he worries, not worry, but thinks about the poor, the oppressed, yes. and how he rescues them. Yes. Right? So in every situation that we have when we call out to God, he's there to help you. He's there mm -hmm. to rescue. There's mm -hmm. nothing impossible for God. Mm -hmm. Nothing impossible when we really cry out to God to help us. Amen. He's right there to lift yes. you up. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. We all need a redeemer. Yes, we do. God will use people on your behalf as as he used <laughs> King David for Mephi. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Changed his whole life. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, and I want to say thank you for those of you who who have subscribed mm -hmm. to our YouTube channel. That really, really help us a lot. And if you have not done so, please do so because that really helps us. Amen. Amen. Please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends. We'll see you next time. And as always, bye bye. Shalom.